I would think we don't want to be muted for that, Terry. So I guess Dennis, let me know when. And do I have to record it? No, 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 no. Okay. So is everyone ready? Yep. Let's okay. do it. I'm gonna call this meeting to order um, and we will start by saying the Pledge of Allegiance. <coughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, the next thing on our agenda is the superintendent's report. Dr. Hanson. Good evening, board, and, and good evening, uh, Warren community. I, I want to start with um, a, a few activities that we've been involved in since March 12th. As you know, that was the day that we closed schools in Marion County. Since that time, we've had weekly calls with the Marion County Public Depart Health Department. We've met with the mayor's office and the other Marion County superintendents just to stay in front of any data and information. I've been participating in the Department of Education um, weekly webinars as well as the daily um, Governor Holcomb uh, webinars. Since then we've been meeting weekly with Cabinet, Chartwells, our legal counsel, um, our district leaders in Warren, um, as well as our Warren Education Association president, just making sure that everyone is on the same page and um, as information changes as you know it's been changing very quickly uh, making the best decisions for our students staff and families um, we are continuing to work on our strategic plan um, with that elements and we hope to have that to the board here for review at the first of may um, i do want to bring up um, at the march board meeting the board approved resolution 575.20 and that allowed um, the superintendent and administration to um, compensate employees due to the disruption of COVID-19. Tonight, I would like to provide you with an update on that. We will be providing um, hourly support staff employees with a $3 an hour emergency stipend for those who are required to work during our school closure. Um, so again, that's only for our employees who are required to work and that are paid on an hourly basis. They will receive an additional $3 an hour um, to their hourly um, wage. I also would like to give you an update that our spring coaches and sponsors will be paid their full stipends under the resolution that the board passed in March. I'd also like to take this time just to um, provide the board with an update on our learn at home um, activities. As you know, school is closed for the remainder of the year. For our K-8 students, they will be participating in learn at home activities and our 9-12 students will be participating in our e-learning. Learn at home is, um, was created on three guiding principles. One was a focus on relationships through human connection. Two was a focus on certainty and safety by creating a consistent experience for our families these next seven weeks. And the third focus was on quality by really honing in on the essential grade level skills for each grade level. Our students can expect three experiences during this time. We've created video lessons on essential grade level content. We are creating virtual opportunities for students and teachers to interact, interact and connect. And we've created choice board activities on essential grade level content. Students are expected to view, view those video lessons and complete the embedded activities. And they will share their evidence with their teacher in a variety of formats for feedback. Teachers are available every day of the week through virtual, virtual office hours and virtual community times. Teachers will also virtually connect with students in small groups and one-on-one. 
Choice board activities were provided for students to engage in learning experiences um, at their home. These choice boards will include essential grade level content and social emotional learning activities. We are making accommodations to meet the best needs of our students, and that would be under our Excel um, umbrella, as well as our EL and special ed umbrella. Based on the guidance from the Department of Education, the experiences that our students can expect are as follows. Pre-K is 30 minutes a day. Kindergarten and first grade would be 45 minutes a day. Second and third grade would be 60 minutes a day. Fourth, fifth, and sixth, up to 90 minutes a day. Seventh and eighth grade and up would be 30 minutes per subject or three hours max per day. I would like to address attendance because there's been a lot of questions about attendance. The governor, along with the Department of Education, is requiring 20 instructional days from April 6th to the end of the school year or June 30th, whichever comes sooner. So that means that we need to um, take attendance for our students for 20 days. Students will be counted present if they submit classroom assignments, attend virtual meetings, or connect with teachers in any other format. We do realize that students may not be able to participate in the activities on a designated day. So if any of these three um, activities or experiences happen during the week, a student will be counted present. Part of this information was shared in my Wednesday call today, and we will also be hosting a question and answer webinar tomorrow um, at 7 p.m. Um, which we, we've posted that website. So we'll get that information out where we'll, we will continue to answer more questions. Next week, we'll be hold, hosting a webinar to address e-learning. I, I would say that e-learning is in a better place because they have Canvas and students are getting their information directly from their teacher through Canvas. Be happy to answer any questions, but that is my report for this evening. <coughs> Okay, not but, hearing Tim, any questions. Tim, I've got a question. Oh. Got a, Tim, if, yes, um, if there's no graduation, uh, we don't do anything about that, will they mail, depending on the date, will they mail everybody their diploma, uh, their high school we diploma? We are still working through, yeah, we are still working through those details. It is our hope. Um, that we will be able to hand their diplomas to students, whether that's individually in small groups or, you know, just that's to be determined. Um, I think the last resort would be to, to mail them to the student. I agree. Do we have any other questions? Not seeing any, we're going to move on to board comments. Terry, would you like to start? Thank you. Good, more, good evening, everyone. Um, I know it's a hard time for us all to really work through the e-learning and the academics and making sure our students are successful. Just know, students, that we believe in you. We know you can do this teachers, support staff, we thank you for all of your flexibility during this time. And for all of our community members, just stay safe, keep a safe distance, and know that we're all in this together. Thank you, Terry. Julie? Okay. Um, I guess I wanna, first of all, thank our teachers and staff for everything they're doing. I know this is difficult. I have a husband that's a teacher and I've been watching him um, muddle through this and figure this all out. So I know that it is not an easy task and I appreciate the help everybody is, or the hard work everybody is, is doing. Um, thanks to everybody who is helping keep our kids fed and, um, and all that good kind of stuff. Um, I want to thank 
our community for their patients. This is something new that we're all having to work through, um, including this meeting stuff here, and hopefully we'll get it figured out and, and run a little bit smoother next time. But um, thanks everyone for your patience. Um, I wanna remind everybody about the census. And this has kind of overshadowed that, um, but it's very important because that's how we get funding uh, for the next 10 years. So it is really important that everybody fills out their census and turns that in. Um, I wanna thank our Warren Council PTA for continuing the food bank. I know it's altered the way they've done it. They too are doing a drive-through, but um, thank you for taking the time and still providing that service for our, our families. It's very important. Um, and I guess last but not least is if you're going to go out and grab something to eat from someplace, I know it's all drive through, but make sure you support our local businesses because they're having a hard time. So um, that's all I have. Thank you. Thank you so much, Julie. Randy? I hate to keep saying this. Well said, Julie. You hit about everything and um, God bless everybody. I know the whole towns of everybody's come together and I it's just amazing when I see everything that Tim uh, in a nutshell you summarize and we'll get through it you know I mean it's a trial of our life you know it's uh, amazing but we'll get through it warrior strong and God bless you all thank you so much Randy Lynn um, yes good evening uh, fellow uh, boards, uh, friends, I'm so happy to see all of you and all of you well. Um, I don't have, uh, just ditto really to what everybody else is saying. Um, I want our community to be safe and I feel like uh, I want to thank Dr. Hansen for his leadership at this time and I think um, in a different sort of way it's education's moment to shine. We're figuring out new, new things every single day um, and that's really just another amazing attribute of our administrators and our teachers. And I just thank everybody so much for their hard work. Um, it's, it's just amazing. And everybody, please keep continue to being safe. Thanks. Thank you so much, Lynn. Gloria? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, great. Good evening, everyone. How good and pleasant it is when people live together in unity. Some great things are happening in Warren during this crisis because people are working together in unity. The struggle we are in today is developing the strength we need for tomorrow. Remember, hope is the only thing stronger than fear. When you face difficult times, Know that challenges are not sent to destroy you. They are sent to promote, increase, and strengthen you. Remember, you were given this life because you are strong enough to live it. God bless everyone. Thank you so much, Gloria. Um, I will just add a few things. I would like to thank all of the Warren employees that have really gone above and beyond during this time. Um, those who still are there making sure that paychecks are getting paid, benefits are still running smoothly. Um, technology is doing all of the things that they've needed to do, including handing out thousands of devices so that students could learn. Um, so we really appreciate all of their efforts and everything that is going on during this time. Um, I've had the chance to communicate with several students and my kids have started doing their learning at home experiences. And so that has gone actually really smoothly. My kids have really enjoyed seeing their teachers again and being able to interact with them. And so that is just wonderful. Um, we have a lot of really good things going on while no one is leaving. Um, we, we've got a bunch of people 3D printing ear savers for nursing homes and hospitals. Um, the Walker Career Center got together all of those masks and donated them. Everyone really is doing their part. Um, we are taking It Takes a Village and working together to the level that we knew we would, even during a difficult time like this. And so I'm just very grateful for everything that has been happening in our community. 
that we have been able to control and have been able to work with. Um, so thank you everyone. Next on our agenda is public comments. Um, we did not have any public comments turned in so far. Should any be emailed to either myself or Dr. Hansen, we will share those with everyone. Um, next, we have the consent agenda, which consists of the approval of several sets of minutes, um, the budget adoption and the regular meeting, uh, as well as payroll claims and um, electronic accounts payable, the claims register, and um, our year to date summary of fund balances, and our human resources report. Um, that is it. So do I have a motion? I will make the motion. I second. You're muted. Sorry, so Terry made the motion and Gloria seconded it. Yeah. Um, we are going to vote. I'm sorry, Terry, we need your vote. Screen. I Lost cannot money. figure out how to get to my alt tab. It's coming. What did you say to do, Rachel? I can't find mine. It was up here and now it's gone. If you are willing to have an oral vote, I can have Carol put it in. Yes, please. And I will say yes. So Lynn votes yes. Apologize. Um. And it passes unanimously. Okay, so the next thing we would have normally is the business as citizens credit present with green cards. And again, we have not received any comments. Um, and again, if anyone would like to comment, they can either email Dr. Hansen or myself, and we will pass those on to the rest of the board. Um, that leaves us with action items. Because of the fact that we were unable to live stream this meeting and it is being recorded and posted, um, we do want to thank everyone for their patience with that. The two resolutions having to do with um, general obligation bonds and the hearing that's associated with that is going to be delayed. We will be putting together another date for that and getting that out so that we can have that hearing here in the future shortly. Instead, we are going to go straight to policy 5111. 0 0.01 homeless students, which I believe is Dr. Hansen. Do we have any questions or comments on it? He was muted at that time, so I could not hear him. Okay, just a second. I'll have him re-speak. Okay, sorry about that. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. Um, so tonight we bring to the board for action item a board policy 5111.01. If you remember last month, Allison brought this policy for discussion. Essentially, this policy update um, brings us um, up to date with ESSA. Are there any comments or questions? I'll entertain a motion to approve. I'll, I'll make, make a motion. motion. I'll second it. I didn't hear who moved it. Lynn. Okay, so Lynn has moved um, policy 5111.01 and Julie has seconded it. We will go to a vote.
Rachel, my vote is yes. Carol is recording that. Thank you. And the motion carries unanimously. Thank you so much, everyone. So we're going to move on to closing comments. Um, we will go in the same order as before, which was not so secretly in alphabetical by last name. Terry? All right, I'm sorry about that. I'm just trying to figure this out. Um, just like before, I really do appreciate everyone in Warren Township and every facet who works with our building and our community. We really appreciate you and we are truly stronger together. Um, everything that um, Julie said earlier could not have been well said any other way, but thank you and Dr. Hansen and your administrative team. We really appreciate everything that you guys have been doing this time. Have a good evening, everyone. Thank you so much, Terry. Julie? Uh, yes, everybody, thank you very much. Um, stay safe. Remember to social distance and take care of yourselves because we need you for next year as well as rest of this year. Thank you. Thank you, Julie. Randy? Nice seeing everybody. At least I'm seeing some faces tonight. These beautiful faces. So everybody, you know, stay safe and keep working together like you are. Great job, Warren. Take care. Thank you so much, Randy. Lynn? Um, yes, everybody. I'm so happy to see faces and people. I miss people so, so much. I miss going to our schools and activities and events and um, we will get through this and uh, look forward to uh, getting together hopefully soon. Um, but thank you, everybody. Please continue to be safe. And again, um, Dr. Hansen, thank you to you and all the administration and teachers for all that you're doing in our community. Thank you. Thank you, Lynn. Gloria? I just want to say, uh, please continue to be encouraged and let us just reach out and touch someone. We might not be able to come together physically, but we can reach out and touch someone by text, by Zoom, you know, and we have all this technology, or even just pick up the phone and call because there's nothing better than to work together and support each other. We don't know what each other is going through, but just a little kind word can always help. So be safe until we see each other again. Thank you so much, Gloria. Um, I just kind of want to reiterate what, what everyone else has been saying. Um, stay safe, everyone. Stay home if possible. Um, remember that there are people out there to help. I know um, I have made deliveries to people's porches. I know people in this meeting have made deliveries to my porch. Um, people are out there are always more than willing to help if you need it. Please just ask. Um, we really have come together as a community. Um, and the other thing I would ask is that show grace to as many people as possible. This situation is incredibly difficult for just everyone. Um, I don't think anyone wakes up in the morning and is like, yay, I get to leave, not leave my house again. Um, and so have that grace, assume that everyone is doing everything with the best of intentions, because I truly believe that as a community, that is what is going on. Um, we may not all make the perfect decisions all of the time, but people are trying their absolute best to do the absolute best that they can do. Um, and I'm just so appreciative for that, and I'm appreciative of everything that has happened um, within our community during this time. And I'm so also appreciative to see all your smiling faces again. I have missed you all. Um, with that, I'm going to adjourn this, e this meeting. Um, we will let you know when we schedule the next one and we will send out invites to the public as well for that. Thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. Thank you, Rachel. Um,